to our next winner, KDOWAM Duke, Montana. KBLW AM 550 reaches out to make life better for individuals and groups throughout the Butte area. When a local teenager was diagnosed with cancer, KBLW organized a Kids Day Carnival, an auction event that raised $100,000. That helped cover the costs of treatment that brought the 15-year-old into remission. The community at large reaped an economic benefit of more than $4 million through a nonprofit organization led by KBOW owner Ron Davis. It was organized to foster economic development through sports. KBOW staff volunteers with more than 30 local service groups. And the station continues its daily party line local affairs show, now marking its 51st anniversary on the air. Congratulations and thank you. KBOW, Butte, Montana. I wasn't prepared for this. I had no thought we would win because we do what everybody does. Commissioners, when you look around this room, you see hundreds of radio stations that deserve to be up here more than we do because it's what radio does. We serve our communities and we go the extra mile. We do the things. We help the people that need help and we help take care of the people in the communities we're licensed to serve. It's what we do and we're proud of it. I accept the honor today on behalf of our 18 staff members who all put in lots of hours and do a lot of work and they're always there for all the events. And we still do radio the old fashioned way in Butte, Montana. It's live, it's local, and it's the community. Thank you. to announce the next winner, uh, KCVM FM, Cedar Falls, Iowa. Every community has its local heroes, frequently unsung and unnoticed. But in Cedar Falls, KCVM led the way in recognizing the recipients of the local Heroes Among Us campaign. They created a 10-part documentary to honor them and helped raise more than $30,000 in the process. KCBM partnered with other local media to bring Cedar Falls its first Honor Flight program, with volunteers raising more than $200,000 to send 240 World War II veterans to see their memorial in Washington, D.C. And KCBM staff joined with 65 dedicated volunteers in a year-round drive to organize and fund an all-expense-paid trip to Walt Disney World for 12 families of chronically and terminally ill children from the Cedar Falls area. Congratulations and thank you, KCVM Cedar Falls. Thank you so very much. This is such an honor to be part of welcoming with the NAB and thank you so very much to our station owners, the Koloffs, which are a second generation family owned radio station. It is such an honor to serve for this radio station with the smaller staff that we have. And Jim Koloff is one of the best bosses in the whole wide world to let us do all of the things that we do. I thank our staff for allowing everything that we are able to do. And like everyone said, this is just basically what we do on a daily basis because we love it and radio is in our blood. It is about being locally owned and operated and taking care of our community in the Cedar Valley. Thank you so very much for this honor. Thank you. Salvation Army Food Pantry. 
and staff members stay active throughout the year, delivering friendship meals to shut-ins and the elderly. KVOE honors the commitment of teachers with its annual radio auction for the National Teachers Hall of Fame. Now they promote scores of nonprofit activities and fundraisers with free promotional activities. They've earned their reputation as the voice of Emporia. Congratulations and thank you, KVOE Emporia, Kansas. Live and local, that's, uh, that's who we are, that's what we do, that's how we live. Thanks to the Sauber family, we're locally owned, and they lead us live and local. We have a staff that is unbelievable. They put all the things together creatively, and then they uh, get out and make it happen in the community. We are staffed with 17 people. All very dedicated, and we're doing something all the time. Who knew that coverage of the county spelling bee would lead to this? <laughs> we actually do that. And so our listeners are totally engaged. So a big thanks to our staff, our ownership, to the NAB, and thank you, radio. Thank you very much. Cincinnatians in scores of different ways. The Tour de Cure bike race drew a field of more than 250 competitors and generated $132,000 for the American Diabetes Association. Rewind 94.9 teamed with the Susan G. Coleman Foundation and 2,800 volunteers aimed for the record for the world's largest human pink ribbon. In the process, they raised more than $200,000 for breast cancer awareness. And WREW staff made personal connections with local third graders, becoming their pen pals and mentors. Throughout the year, station supported events raised more than $2 million for charitable causes. Congratulations and thank you, WREW Cincinnati. everything I was supposed to do the first time and, and forgot, so I'm blessed. I know our program director, Jay Cruz, really appreciate it since he climbed the Crew Tower, which I was at the bottom reading him on, while he climbed all the way to the top. This is his first Crystal Award, and I wish he was here to get it, but I will take it home proudly to him. And thank you again very much. Crystal Radio Award goes to KYWAM Philadelphia. All news, all the time. For 46 years, that's how Philadelphians have identified KYW News Radio 1060. They've become familiar with the station's special community programs like Wednesday's Child, Positively Philadelphia, and the Regional Affairs Council. KYW reaches out to the next generation of journalists in the Delaware Valley with the New Studies Student Reporter Program at the KidCast Mobile Studio. They give students the opportunity to go behind the scenes and in some cases actually anchor a KYW news story. And the KYW Laptop Daily Double Program equips listeners with modern technology, culminating in the donation of a new computer lab to a deserving school in the Philadelphia region. Congratulations and thank you, KYW Philadelphia. Thank you. Thank you to the NAB. And all news radio is a very important format to all of us at CBS Radio. I've spent most of my life in the format. I spent two tours of duty at KYW in Philadelphia. And the staff there is just amazing. Almost 98% of them are homegrown, come from the market, never leave the market and really know the local community. And um, you know, on behalf of Mark Rayfield, our market manager, 
and Jim Loftus, our head of sales, and Steve Butler, our program director, Dean Patel, our news director, and the men and women of KYW News Radio 1060 in Philly, who's been doing all news all the time for 47 years, and they have never wavered from the promise of giving everybody in Philadelphia all the news they need in 22 minutes. Thank you very much. Commission to know that there's so many others in here that deserve those crystals right now, and they can take, I think, real pride with everyone at NAB that America's airwaves are used in such a wonderful way to do so much good. Thank you, everybody. And now we'd like to present a very special award, the Crystal Heritage Award an award that recognizes radio stations that have won an impressive five Crystal Radio Awards. Today we present this award to KUZZ-FM, the third Crystal Heritage Award recipient. KUZZ has been providing their listeners in Bakersfield, California with quality information and entertainment for more than 40 years. KUZZ won their first Crystal Radio Award in 1998 KUZZ gives back to its community various fundraising initiatives, averaging nearly $6 million donated each year. KUZZ's staff of 26 people donates almost 1,000 hours of volunteer work to more than 100 local organizations annually. In addition to receiving the five Crystal Radio Awards, KUZZ has been recognized with a variety of industry honors, including Radio and Record Station of the Year, Billboard Station of the Year, the Academy of Country Music Station of the Year, and so it's a particular honor to present KUZZ FM with the Crystal Heritage Award. Here to receive the award is KUZZ's Director of Community Announcements, Sylvia Curry. Did I get this right, Sylvia? Carriker. Sylvia Carriker. Please join me in congratulating so many guests. shaking like a leaf and, and thinking to myself when I had a moment, what's amazing is the work that we all consider every day and ordinary is really quite extraordinary. So if you're one of the finalists, congratulations. It is extraordinary. What you do is awesome. What you do is awesome. I remember when I said in 1998, I stand by it now, I call it conceptual bedrock. Hopefully everyone at the tables is a crystal finalist. You all know this. So let's spread the gospel, and that is good community service is good business. Live it, learn it, there's a quiz later. Thank you very much for this award. Congratulations again to KUCC and all of our Crystal Award winners. Now please join me in welcoming NAB's Joint Board Chairman. He's the President of Meredith Corporation Local Media Group, Paul Karpowitz. Thanks, Carolyn. It is 
my pleasure today to introduce our keynote speaker. Beginning at the age of five, when he made his first television appearance with his brothers on The Andy Williams Show, he has mesmerized audiences, both young and old, for five decades with his talent for singing, dancing, and acting. And to this list, we can also add successful songwriter and radio personality. You may recall his years as a teen idol in the 70s, co-hosting Donnie and Marie with his younger sister Marie. They're still performing together to this day at the Las Vegas Flamingo Hotel. They were recently